Hey everybody and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Bobby and this is Bobby Reads Tarot. I am a tarot card reader as well as a medium. And tonight I was not planning on doing this reading, but I um, keep seeing different news stories about the attempted assassination on former President Trump. And I keep seeing more and more information about the alleged um, shooter. And I just have so many questions, as I'm sure all of you do as well, because there's just so much uncertainty right now. Um, there's so much we don't know. And I think right now, too, there's just this undercurrent of tension, right, running just in society. I think everyone's kind of feeling that heightened um tension. So I thought, you know, I would just get on here really quick. I wanted to pull some cards and I wasn't going to film it. Then I thought, you know what, if I don't film it, I'm going to wish I did film it. So here we are. As always, you are going to hear dogs in the background right on cue. Um, please just ignore them. I have doggies and puppies that like to fight and wrestle. So anyway, Okay, so we are going to be using the Pulp Tarot um, Tarot deck as well as the Whispers of the Unsolved deck. This is a massive deck, but we're going to start off with Tarot, okay? So first, I want to look at just the, the alleged assassin himself. So I believe his name is Thomas Crooks. So I just want to start there. So he might have been having regular altercations or regressing in some way. We also have the six of wands reversed. This talks about postponement, something being postponed. This is kind of, um, it's something that's pending, a pending advancement. Although I do think it's very interesting that it is, uh, wow. Okay. Look at this card, you guys. This looks a lot like JFK and he's like riding in a car. There's a parade, American flags. So that's kind of interesting that that's sort of the energy that's that was in front of him, blocking him. Wow. Okay. Then we have the nine of wands. So nine of wands is about being very defensive, being protective, defending something. So he felt as if he was... He could have felt like he was defending something or protecting something. He could have also felt like, I keep getting these really weird thoughts about this whole situation, but I don't want to just start putting it out there. So that's a big reason why I'm doing this reading. So this one, I mean, my brain automatically wants to go to like, this, this is like some, you know, kid that was like somehow programmed, which I know that sounds crazy, but like, that's the feeling that I got, and that especially with seeing this card. But let's get more cards, more clarifiers to see what, you know, what else we have. Look at all of this wands. Oh my gosh. And like this battling. The actions that he took are going to lead to fighting, is going to lead to conflict. And I think we can kind of feel that, right? As a, as a nation, we are feeling that buildup of the conflict, and it kind of feels like we all know the inevitable is, you know, is coming. And then we have the King of Pentacles reversed. That is very much, um, okay, so here's another thing I just want to insert really quickly. So I got my TikTok account banned because of some of the things I was saying. So now I guess I have to use all the little acronyms and initials and stuff so that I don't get my, um, this account like flagged. So we're going to call this person, um, right now, um, 
DJT. I think you all know who that is, but that is very much this, um, th there's something with that. There's something, let, let me keep going here. Let me pull out some, I'm gonna pull out the rest of these and then we're gonna, gosh, look at this. This is just, wow, okay. So let me just take a look here and see what else we have going on. So what he was doing, this um, this Thomas Crooks, what he was doing was he was seeking out this person. He was seeking out this person because he wanted to JFK him. But what he didn't see coming was this Ace of Swords energy. This was that... Um, this was that disruption. This was a complication. What what was meant to happen, the intended result did not happen. There was some kind of a disruption. And we know the disruption was DJT turning his head to look at a chart, which is so crazy to think about. Like just, just the, the pure luck. I mean, if we were reading for DJT, there would have to be like the Wheel of Fortune card because it's such Wheel of Fortune energy. I think it's going to be really confusing for a lot of people because I do feel like um, Thomas was someone who was very sensitive and was naturally a very like compassionate person, more of like a sensitive kid, the kid that would like look out for the smaller kids in the neighborhood or, you know, would like maybe had a sensitive side for, I don't know, for like wounded animals found in the neighborhood or just something. But I do feel like there's going to be a lot of confusion. The family and everyone who knew him, I do feel has, they have so much confusion over, you know, where this came from, how this happened. Cause this is not the person that they that they knew, like this was such an unexpected act. It was such an unexpected act. I do feel like there were people around him influencing him. And that is where we get this Knight of Pentacles. Um, and if you even just like look at this person, right? You see how they look, they're driving a black car, they're wearing a black suit. Um, they look very distinguished, they're older. They look like they could be, you know, um, part of, part of people in power. So I, I really feel like there were people around him that were either encouraging him or planting ideas, or, you know, if you want to go down the, um, tinfoil hat route, it could be some type of like MK ultra type situation, but he was definitely ready for battle. Like when he was in the act when he was doing the things that he was doing. Um, so there's reporting that he went to a store, bought a ladder, well, went to a shooting range, then left there, I guess, went to a store, bought a ladder, bought, went to another store, bought 50 rounds of, of ammo, and then went to the rally and did what he did. I think that's really interesting and I'm very curious to see like what comes up for that. But he came into this, he was, he was ready for a battle. Like he was a soldier. He just, it was, this is what I'm doing. This is the task, one foot in front of the other. And this is what I'm doing. Um, I'm going into battle. And three of wands talks about validation. So there's going to be a lot of people trying to validate a lot of different things, validate what this person did validate that what they did was, you know, maybe influenced by someone else, try to validate that, oh no, it was someone that was maybe part of this party. It, there's going to be all of these people trying to give like validation for their own specific argument. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of like rhetoric that's, um, that's very divisive, but that's also just not true. There's going to be a lot of things that we're seeing that just just, you know, categorically not true. Okay, so now we're going to go through the same spread, but we're going to expand on it with these whispers of the unsolved. And I forgot, I already shuffled these. Okay, so let's start. We're just going to kind of spread these out a little bit so we have a little more space here. 
Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna start right back at the bottom. Oh my God. Yeah. That's, I've been saying it. I've, I have like goosebumps. I've been saying it. I've been feeling it. He was, he was like a machine. He was ready. It's, oh my gosh. And the card even says obey on it. Like, yeah. Distraction. So there was this, maybe a distraction that's what prevented him from finishing. Oh, there was a distraction because there was that chart. And DJT always said like he never had charts on the stage, but that was like the first time he had a chart. And he always looked forward. He never looked to the side, but for whatever reason that day, he looked to the side. And that distraction is what prevented him from being able to complete what he was supposed to do. Vacation Beach Abroad, clarifying the Nine of Wands. I wonder if he had recently been on any family vacations or I'm wondering what his um, involvement was with other people. Was he around people with his parents not there or his parents involved in like certain organizations. I'd be curious to know if prior to this event taking place, if he happened to, to go on a vacation, the fighting and the battles that are going to result from this, from this act are going to be battles, um, that are fought amongst amongst people, amongst us, amongst people in neighborhoods. It's going to be people, you know, people fighting with each other about things that they would never normally fight about. But it's going to get very, very difficult. It's going to be very tough. He was supposed to end up here. This is, this was the job. This was the task. The task was to take the, him out and to have him end up there, but there was a distraction. Timeline issues. Interesting. Okay, so this was a disruption, right? We talked about there was like a disruption to the plan, and it's very interesting because we also got the distraction. We talked about that disruption was perhaps that screen that chart that he had up so what created the obstacle was issues with timeline so i think that um he was maybe supposed to be there sooner or later or um there's something with his timeline that impacted his ability to complete this task okay Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to pull these aside. And we are going to stick with the whispers of the unsolved. So we're going to do three rows of four cards. And this is going to focus on the motivation. Why? Why did Thomas Crooks do this? What was his motivator? What um, influences did he have in his life? What were his values? Um, was he involved with any groups or organizations? So basically any information that we can get about Thomas Crooks regarding how he found himself in the situation that he was in on Saturday. Okay. So we have plot twist and legal proceedings. Okay. Solved. Desert Mirage. Aliens. 
always fun when aliens show up to the party. Alive. Organized crime. more cards. Follow the money. Oh. Mind control again. One more card, please. It's that one. <clears throat> okay. Delays. Okay, so looking at this, what I'm... What I'm getting is I feel like, obviously, I feel like the reason he did it was because of this, okay? And you can call me crazy. Um, if this isn't your cup of tea, you can just click out of this video. But um, I do, this is why, this is why he did it. But I feel like there was some type of a legal proceeding. Either he got into a little bit of trouble or one of his parents is a lawyer or involved in the law or something and that's where the connection was made the connection was made connecting him to the the group the people that did this they that was how they came in contact it has to do with law in some in some way so through legal proceedings or law uh it can even be if they're a lawyer and they're a politician, but there's that is how Thomas was connected to the group that ultimately worked on this and this. So using mind control and science, they wanted to create this, this essentially Manchurian candidate super soldier, someone that could go in, do the job, get the job done, create this vision of what they wanted, which was an assassin. However, there was a plot twist and it didn't happen. And I feel like it had to do with those delays. Now with the follow the money, I do feel like money was a motivator, but I do feel like it was perhaps, I don't feel like it was a motivator for Thomas. I feel like it was a motivator for someone in his life. And that, that's why he did it. And my cards just went everywhere. Okay. What I'm curious to know is I'm curious to know if him or if someone in his life was involved in the January 6th insurrection and had some kind of, gotten some kind of trouble for it, and maybe even were jailed or imprisoned for something, or got in trouble for some, for being involved in that. We have follow the money, but look what we also have on follow the money. We have the all-seeing eye, and we know that symbol, right? The all-seeing eye right there, the little triangle, and the groups that represents. Okay, so I want to get some clarification because we have this like aliens is the one thing I can't figure out. I feel like solved is like, yes, but then we have this aliens that's not quite fitting in. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask some clarifying questions. I have some just other random questions. So the first question I want to ask, and I'm going to get, all right, I'm going to pull three cards for this is... Was Thomas under the influence of someone other than himself that allowed the attempted assassination to take place? Okay, so I want three cards. So we're looking at, was there some kind of an outside? Okay, so we have drama acting. Can we get two more cards, please? We 
have low vibrational. And we have revenge. Okay, well that wasn't super clear now, was it? Drama acting low vibrational and revenge. So maybe he was mad about something that happened, something that was said or something. That just doesn't feel right to me. That does not feel right. This was not his revenge. This was someone else wanting revenge on DJT. That's because it was what is his motivator. So his motivator was revenge. It was not his own. It was the revenge for someone else. These are very, very low vibrational people. These are very dark people. And they're people that will try to act one way, but they're really something else. So they, they may have used things like you, you are doing a service to the, you know, whatever, or, you know, glory or whatever, you know, and, but it was, it was, it was just an act because they knew what was going to happen. They knew the outcome of how it was going to end for him and they didn't care because they were just seeking they just wanted revenge on you know who okay so i want to get um can i get three cards on his energy leading up to the event let's say the 24 hours leading up to the event three cards please okay we have government, we have AI, And we have flight and air travel. Okay, so I do feel like he believed that he was working for the government. Or maybe he was working for some faction of the government. And they were programming him to get him ready for what he was about to do. I'm really curious to know if he had had any recent trips. Um, I haven't heard anything. All of this is so new and so fresh. So a lot of it, this stuff hasn't come out in the news. But I want to look at the pieces and just kind of have them out here um, so that we can look at it. I'm, I don't really want to try to make it fit right now. Um, I just want to put it out here. And then as we get more information, be able to come back and look at this and say, okay, this is, this is where we were. So I just really kind of want a snapshot. So we have... The reason for the act, we have the 20 leading up to the, the 24 hours before the act. Now I would like to know of like three cards for as he was committing the act. This card, I'm just going to put it out. This card, for some reason, is face up. And I just keep seeing it. And I just, I feel like it needs to be out. So, there it is. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, he knew it was the final ending, I think. He knew it was... He thought it was someone else's final ending, that's for sure. Dismemberment. Optical illusion. This is crazy, you guys. Because there's been a lot of people talking about, you know, what happened, what we saw. Was there something wonky going on? I mean, this is something that we're probably never, we would never get the answer to if it was this. Um, because they're never going to acknowledge, the government would never acknowledge that they have that kind of technology. Um, or that they would use it. Even though they do, and they have. 
Um, yeah. I'm trying to understand what this dismemberment means, how this ties in. I'm wondering if it was just like the final breaking down of just who he was as a person, like it was the final breaking apart of him in that moment when, you know, when he passed. But I asked in the moment, what was the energy? And in the moment, we got optical illusion. In the moment. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put this right here. Okay. I would like to know um, what are, what's the next big break that is going to come out in this case? Okay. So what's like the next big news, the next big break, the next thing that we can look forward to. And today is, Alexa, what's today? Today is Tuesday, July 16th. Okay. So it's Tuesday, July 16th. Alexa, stop. So this is, okay. So Tuesday, July 16th. So, um, we can date this. Okay. So the next the next big break in the case or the next big um, piece of information. Three cards, please. Okay, so we have a male. We have home safety. Trash and trapped. Okay, you guys. So let's look at these. This is the next news break we're going to get. I wonder if they're going to find clues in the trash at his home. I wonder if it's going to be something like that. We'll have to see. And then this trapped, I'm feeling like this might talk about him being involved in some kind of groups maybe where he felt like he couldn't leave, whether that, whether that was like some type of social group, religious group, um, could be family dynamics. I'm really curious to see what comes out with, with that. Okay, so I want to pull just a couple more cards and then we're going to wrap this up because this is getting really long. But I want to know what is the deal with this aliens card? Can I get three cards to clarify what this aliens is referring to? I'm wondering if, sorry guys, I'm going to like, I'm going to veer off for a minute, but if, if he didn't meet the connection that did this through legal proceedings, I'm wondering if maybe the legal proceedings that we just recently watched DJT go through maybe was a motivator for him, you know, to, to do that. I don't really think that's what it is, but okay. Okay. So this is something that is interesting, right? And it feels like it doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is we're not going to make it fit, but we're going to define it. So we have this aliens, we have hotel or motel, we have confession, making a deal, and we have health issues. So I am wondering if in some weird way, this ties in to someone having information you know what? My brain really, really wanted to go to aliens, like space aliens, but this is talking about the border situation. I just got the download. So this is referring to the border situation that's going on right now here in the U.S. There's confession making a deal. Hotel, motel, health issues. So there's something going on with that. It's going to tie into immigration somehow. There might be some weird ideology. There could have been a confession or a deal made at a hotel or a motel. 
there's something with this and I'm not sure exactly how it fits. So again, we're not going to try to make it fit. We're just going to look at it. We're going to acknowledge it. And then as the story progresses, we'll be able to kind of come back and look at this and it'll make a lot more sense. And then we can build off of this. So, um, I don't know if this helped you any, you know, settle any curiosities. I just wanted to kind of like see what the energy reading was for him. Um, I do want to say that, um, regardless of anything, uh, there was a tragic loss of life. There were also people that were injured. It is not, this is not a joke. This is not a game. Um, this isn't funny. Um, also everything that I say is alleged for entertainment purposes only, not fact, should not be taken as fact. It's terror reading guys. Um, and but I do want to, to really point out that a loss of life is never, um, it's never a joking matter. And when we pull this energy, we're not doing it um, in any way to be disrespectful to anyone. It's to just look at the energies and try to make sense of something that really doesn't make a lot of sense. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not already subscribed and you like what you see, go ahead and click the little subscribe button. I also offer private readings on my website. All the information to that is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I flipped cards and I will see you in my next video. Bye.